Welcome to Vegan On The Go by Veganlicious Treats, where I show you vegan eats around the world. This is part two of three of the Seattle series, where today we will explore the famous Pipe Place Market in downtown Seattle. Let's go. If you've ever done a web search on Seattle, there's a good chance you have come across this famous farmer's market called the Pipe Place Market. It is one of the oldest farmers markets in the United States and currently is the 33rd most visited attraction in the world. Whether you're visiting the market to visit the gum wall, to visit the world's first Starbucks, to shop for produce and flowers, or explore the artwork, there's a good chance you may end up needing a bite to eat. The first vegan option at the Pike Place Market is Pike Place Chowder. If you plan to eat here, be sure to get here before it opens because the line is long. The restaurant sells a vegan lime chowder and a bread bowl. And the chowder was delicious. Despite the flavor being lime coconut, it did not taste like coconut. The chowder reminded me of a super thick creamy veggie soup. Also, the bread was sourdough flavored. The next restaurant I visited was El Borocho. The restaurant serves vegan options including tacos, burritos, and nachos. I decided to go with nachos with toppings such as vegan refried beans, sour cream, guacamole, cheese, and peppers. Unfortunately, I was underwhelmed with my food. I couldn't taste the refried beans and the tortilla chips were lacking a crunch. They were somewhat soft. However, my opinion should not stop you from visiting if you do want to try some Mexican food at the market. The next establishment I visited was Cinnamon Works. They sell a variety of vegan desserts including cinnamon rolls, cookies, and muffins. The reviews on the cinnamon rolls seemed mixed, so I decided to go with a snickerdoodle cookie instead. This was my first time having this cookie flavor, so I'm not sure of what it's supposed to taste like, but it definitely was chewy, delicious, and had a cinnamon flavor. The last place I visited at the market was Shy Giant Frozen Yogurt, which sells ice cream made from tofu and has some interesting flavors. However, the vendor next door told me that the owner was not there the day I visited despite it being operating hours, so I never got a chance to try it. Now let's explore downtown Seattle. Downtown Seattle is full of murals, interesting architecture, and a variety of museums. Also, not far from downtown is the Space Needle, where you can capture a phenomenal view of the city. The next restaurant is Kati Vegan Thai, an all-vegan Thai restaurant. The restaurant has an overwhelming amount of options to choose from including curries, noodles, rice dishes, and a variety of desserts. As green curry is one of my all-time favorite dishes, I had to order one. I've never had eggplant or avocado in my green curry before, so I thought it was an interesting surprise. However, the curry was delicious and had a nice kick to it. I also ordered this noodle dish, which apparently is a popular Thai street dish, which contains fried noodles, topped with scrambled eggs, veggies, and chili sauce. And oh my goodness, I was not expecting the noodles to be this delicious. They were full of flavor. I enjoyed the texture and seasonings of the dish. I also had the Thai tea, which tasted like a sweetened black tea, and it was good. The next restaurant I visited was an all-vegan fast food chain restaurant called Veggie Grill, and we're talking McDonald's fast. 
There are a variety of items to choose from, including burgers, appetizers, salads, and desserts. I was surprised when my food arrived to me two minutes after I had ordered. I ordered the Santa Fe chicken sandwich with sweet potato fries and a side of carrot cake. All of the food was tasty and the sweet potato fries are some of the best I've ever had. I decided to return another day and ordered mac and cheese and buffalo wings. And unfortunately, I thought the mac was bland and the buffalo wings were good taste wise but did have an interesting texture that I can't describe. Regardless, I love the concept of the restaurant and did enjoy most of my food and cannot wait to visit again. The last restaurant downtown, but certainly not the least, is Piroshi on 3rd. This restaurant specializes in savory Russian baked turnovers and desserts. The vegan turnovers included Beyond Meat and Cheese, Rosemary Potato, and a jalapeno freight one. I ordered the Beyond Meat and Chow Cheese turnover. It was good. It tasted like a cheesy savory stuffed roll and the bread had a subtle sweet taste to it. There was also a texture surprise as there was a crunchy leaf at the top of the turnover. I also ordered a sticky bun, which is a cinnamon roll filled with pecan bits and a sugary syrup. And I also sent some to a friend and my family, and we all agreed that the rolls were delicious. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Be sure to stay tuned for part three of the Seattle series where we will explore the neighborhoods of Ballard, Fremont, and Green Lake. Until next time, bye!